2021 begins. We've got Will from Seward's over there, our salesman. He's uh, he's brought a Takano 580. Smash his straw up a bit because it's a single rotor machine. Uh, well, it's a hybrid actually. It's uh, uh, got a, a drum at front into a, a rotor. So, but it's fair chomping at it, like. He's only a front outside at minute, but uh, yeah, it's fair sort of eating it up. So we're all parked up here, ready for uh, taking it to shed. my van in stupid spot. I think you can get round. Um, now we've got into the field. It's doing fairly well, I'd say. I won't say much of a three ton, but it's on top side of three ton, not bottom. It's quite a small barley though. It's infinity. It's disappointing me really. It's. Uh, it's a lot smaller sample than I thought, it's not as bold. Um, I, I think our meat, meat is fairly right. 12.7 it says, so it's bloody dry. And there's a bit of green in it and all, so... But yeah, right, I'll have a word with this man and then see what uh, see what he wants to do, whether we're taking over or he's, he's happy bloody uh, carrying on, I don't know. I'll go and have a lesson. Let me loose with it. I said it's not a bad combo, it's lovely to drive. It, uh, I think it's a funny heap of straw though, with it being a rotary. Big heap of straw, which it puts half as wide again, really. But um, crop wise, not doing so bad, really. There's nowhere to put this thing though. So when it comes to end here, so I'll tell you what it does with it being a rotary. They soon spit it out, they soon spit the straw back. Not like a walker, it takes like a second or two to, to walk it out. But now yeah, this is uh, this is quite um, quite good. It still gets shut a bit. There's a lot of green corn in here, but it doesn't worry me with the forecast to be honest, because there's a lot of ripe corn, a lot of late corn, and then a lot of big, a lot of greeny wheelings and patches of green, heavier patches, but the majority of it's rotten ripe, so it's having it. And if we do get a lot of uh, uh, crappy weather, it'll, it won't get any better. So, we're combining about 4k, and it reckons we're doing, well, it's 6.2 ton to hectare, which is brilliant here. But when it gets on to heavier lamp, it says we're doing 10, so on average, we're doing, a, I would say, a pretty average yield. You can see that, it's all dusty. It's all tucks Touch screen that, it's clever. See, that's telling your losses there. See, that's sensitivity. Okay, there we are. We're nearly full. So, we'll tip it. There's nowhere to put this 
thing. Because it now brought us now magnetic points. It don't track, so I'll let him. Just don't know whether he can't, surely he can't bend it coming down here. <laughs> oh dear, right, finished for the day. Done two flats of barley, about 25 acres. It's done well actually. I'd say well over, well over three tons. So, not a bad start. Oh, God, that was shaped. It's shaped in here. Look at that old shit. into another field with Eston Baylor in. It's just not right, we did it yesterday but there's a bit of green straw and uh, we took Edelands off anyway so I've made a stat. They are quite right so I'm going to jackpot at night. 
fact this little rotary combine just leaves a pile of straw like that real wide and narrow pile I know we did put the uh, deflectors in but in that bottom there well it was either that or a great wide bloody thing guys tell you what them real big combines them little you know 40 foot Lexus you know them big bloody 8 series but how do you, how do you get the straw dry when there's a good crop of spring barley uh, winter barley like this this is only a 25 foot cut and there's a mountain of straw and it just isn't fit when you're walking through a stubble you can feel water flicking out of the stubble so it must have been fairly green but well it is look at the how green it is we didn't round up it off and uh but the calm was rotten right man. well it's been taken in today 14 varied from 14 6 to sort of 13 percent moisture the uh, corn looks right and it threshed all right, but the straw, bloody hell. Well, that should be a good day tomorrow to get it. But... Anyway, I made a start. Right, that's it for me today. So if you like these videos, tick and subscribe. And, uh, we sort of do one or two a week, depending on what we've got going on. Uh, Time in East Yorkshire. So, yeah, like I say, if you like them, tick and subscribe. And we'll go from there. Bye for now.